Hey guys, what's up? So for this lecture, we're going to be looking at the powers of numbers. Okay. Um, so this is really easy to understand. So let's look at two times two times two, right? Uh, we can always write out all of these twos, but it would be really annoying, right? Um, to write out all of these twos constantly. It would be really, uh, it would take a long time. So let's say we had more twos, right? A lot of twos. Like one, two, three, four, five, six twos, right? Every time we need to multiply these six twos, we would want to always write them out. So there's another way we can write this, and it's two to the six, right? Where this two is called the base, and this six is called the power or index. Second, okay. Now the power, the power or the index, it basically tells you how much times you're gonna multiply this two by itself. Okay. So let's do an, an, another example. Two to the three would be equal to two times two times two. Okay. 3 to the 2 would be equal to 3 times 3, okay? And 2 times 2 times 2 would be equal to 8, and 3 times 3 would be equal to 9. Let's say we have 10 to the 2. Uh, this is equal to 10 times 10, which is equal to 100, right? And let's say we have 10 to the 4. This would be equal to 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which would be equal to 10,000, right? Okay, so that's pretty much what the powers are, okay? That's what pretty much what uh, this whole uh, base and index power thing is all about, okay? So, yeah, so let's just clear the screen. All right, so let's look at some examples here. Uh, I always like to do three examples, okay? Um, it's good to try three times or more if you can, you know, it's always good to try. Uh, let's say we have three to the five, okay? This should be equal to three times three times three times three times three, five times, right? And what would we end up with here? This three times three would give us nine, then nine times three would give us 27, and 27 times three should give us 81. All right, uh, so three times 81 would give you 243. Cool, so that's the answer, 243. Uh, let's do the same thing with nine to the three. So nine times nine times nine. Nine times nine is 81. And then 81 times nine should give us, right, should give us 729. And you, sh you can use a calculator if you want to as well. And then two to the four would be two times two times two times two, which would be equal to uh, 16, right? All right, so not too bad. Uh, let's look at some other examples. All right, guys, so let's look at these examples, okay? Um, and for these examples, the question says simplify, right? Leaving your answer in index form. Your answer in index form, okay? Okay, so let's look at the first one. The first one is two times two times three, times two, times three, times three. So the first thing we're gonna do is, remember the first law, um, commutativity, it doesn't matter what the order is. So we're gonna group the like numbers first. So we're gonna get two times two, times two, there are three twos. And then we'll have three times three, times three, and times three. So you can write this as two to the three, times three, um, to the three, right? And this would be correct. And that makes a lot of sense. So let's just write the answer up here. So two to the three times 
3 to the 3 is the same answer as this long thing here. Okay. Okay, so let's look at the next one. Um, this one here. Okay. Um, yeah, so for this one, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, we want to order it. And we see there are two fours. So that's 4 times 4. We want to group the, the like terms. Okay. Um, multiplied by 3 times 3. There are two threes. Two threes, right? And then there are three fives. So that's times 5 times 5 times 5, right? So this is actually equal to 4 squared times 3 squared times 5 cubed. Really easy. Very easy, guys. All right, guys. So for the last one, we want to do the same thing. Okay, we're going to group the sevens, which would be seven times seven times seven. And then we have two eights, so it's times eight times eight. Then we're going to have, we have one nine, so it's times nine. So we're going to end up with seven cubed times eight squared times nine, nine to the one, right? Nine to the first ball times one nine, okay? All right, and that's it, guys. We're finished. All right, guys, so that pretty much sums up powers. Uh, remember, the base is the number here, and this is the power or the index, okay? But just call it the power, okay? All right, so we're good. All right, guys, so that's it. And I'll see you in the next lecture. And remember to do your best and God will do the rest.